Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to use these small eye pens I have here. They are around one and a half centimeter long, including the eye. If you can't find the smaller ones here, you can always uh, get regular eye pens and then cut them into length. Let's get to it. We're going to make candy today and I am going to make La Crise Confect. That is, I think it's a German thing, but we have them here in Denmark too, and we love them at Christmas time. Um, and we are going to make some of these. If you don't have them by you, mm, I am sorry for you, because these are actually really good. I rolled out some opaque white, some black, and some pink clay in my pasta machine, and that was on the setting 5. Um, the pink clay here is a bit too light in the pink um, so you might want a bit darker pink for this one. I stack them together, first white, then black, and then pink. And uh, the black is licorice, I think, and uh, I actually don't know what the white and the pink colors are, uh, but they taste really, really good. They are small squares, so I want to make these small squares, but first of all, I am just going to save some of the colors here. So I did half of them with white, black, pink, and I'm going to do half of them here with white, black, white. And you can also do white, black, orange, what I will do off camera here um, at one point for this. And then I am going to cut strips of these pieces that I have here in the length of a little under half a centimeter. I'm using my mat here to measure. That's why I'm a bit out of the um, focus here on the camera, but you can still see what I'm doing. So I'm just cutting them like that. Before you cut these into pieces, you really uh, need to make sure that all three layers are really nicely combined. Because if there is air between the layers, then they will not stick together after baking. Um, here I am going to show you how I cut them into squares. Uh, and I cut all of these into small squares. And I just make as many of these that I want to. If you want to make this for a candy that you can have in a little a bowl or something on the table for the dolls, then these are actually too big for a 1 to 12, but I had to make them a little bigger, otherwise you won't be able to get them onto the eye pins. Let's make the next candy here. We have some black colored clay that I rolled out on a setting seven on the past machine. And I'm rolling this log of white clay. Uh, I have been asked how I keep my white clay really, really clean. But when I'm using it like I do here, then it doesn't really matter if it's clean on the outside or not. So I'm just cutting the black into length. And then I'm going to wrap the black clay here around the white but you do not want it to overlay anywhere. So you just wrap it around and cut the excess. I filled out a few gaps before I rolled uh, the lock here so that I'm sure that I have black all the way around, but that it's still not overlapping. I am now rolling this one out so that it fits to the size of the ones we just did. So let me bring those into the picture. I roll them until I am happy with the thickness of this one and it's um, half the thickness of their width. So it's um, yeah around the shape you see here. Then I'm just cutting them into the length of these candies we made before. And then they are all ready to go into the oven and be baked as well. Let's make the last candy. I rolled out some pink clay on a setting one on my pasta machine. That's the biggest setting I have. Then I rolled a snake of black clay and um, I rolled it thinner than we rolled the white clay before. Um, and then I am cutting off the excess here. Do not let the pink overlay. I had a bit too little, so I had to um, put in the scraps or two and I like to show you that here on the video So you see that sometimes my canes are really slappy at the making, but the end result is really really good 
I am going to roll these out so the um, cane has a circumference about, about a half a centimeter, a tiny bit less than half a centimeter. And then I'm just going to cut um, pieces of this cane, or you can bake it first and then cut the slices of it. The slices are supposed to be around two or three millimeters thick, so don't make them too small here. The last candy I made that in yellow and in pink as well. Um, and now I am going to use my Dremel and I am having a very tiny drill here and the drill bit is big enough for these eye pins so that the hole is big enough for the eye pins to go through. I am using my tweezers right now because I do not want to drill myself in my fingers so I'm keeping the little uh, candy here really firm in the tweezers and then I'm just drilling a hole so you can see in the uh, squares here I'm drilling it from uh, one side to the other then I pin it through the eye pin and I'm just going to push it up to the eye pin and it is teasing me a tiny bit here um, so I'm just gonna try one more time to push it through the hole should be big enough you just need to um, find the hole and put it through so that was that kind of candy. The next one is the black one here with the white middle. I am going to take it in one of the ends with my tweezer and then drill again uh, right straight through the middle of it like that. And place this one on the pen. If I can. It is a little tricky but the result is actually really good. and. It went off, but here it is, and I'm just placing them on this little stick. For these uh, yellow and pink one, and I, for some reason, didn't get uh, to show that, but I drilled that through the yellow and the black, so you can see how they are sitting right here on the stick. So I fill up the stick, and the last piece of candy that I placed on there, I am. Um, gluing on there with some super glue and I like my super gel glue because it's a little more uh, easy to work with. I made a braid of three red threads of sewing threads and I am uh, taking around five centimeters of this braid and placing that th through the eye loop here and then making a knot on top of it. Uh, and I'm sorry I'm off camera here, um, but it's a little tricky on these small things here. So I am just going to make the knot here and then I'm going to show you uh, how I did the knot so you can do it yourself. I cut off the excess string here and there is the done result for um, hanging on the Christmas tree. Let me show you how I made the knot one more time. To make a small knot, I take both of my string, wrap them around my tweezer, catch them in the end of the tweezer and just pull them through like that and there you have the knot. Now you just pull it tight and that's all there is for the knot. Find the link in the info box below for the candy. That's all there is for today. I hope I'll see you again tomorrow. Happy crafting!